Let's continue with our centenary celebrations. Yena, October 2017 is being commemorated to reflect on the life and legacy of Oliver Reginald Tambo. There has been centenary celebrations across the country under the theme Life and Legacy of Or Tambo. Tambo would have celebrated his 100th birthday this year and joining us now is another living legend, Mr. Mose Mula, who was with Oliver Reginald Tambo during uh, the treason trial. Mr. Mula, what a pleasure, sir. A very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Mr. Mola, do tell us, I know if a Tambo would have turned 100 years old this year, tell us more about the Tambo that you knew. Well, I knew him from the 50s, during the days of uh, Mandela and Tambo, and I was in very close contact with him, uh, uh, because we were also co-accused in the treason trial of 1956 to 61. Mm -hmm. And uh, we spent some time uh, at the Johannesburg Fort before we, um, that is the old prison, you know, where the uh, prisoners of war was kept. And we, um, because we were, we were a large number of accused and uh, we were divided into two cells which we call the upper house and the lower house. So the elderly people, elderly accused, were downstairs and we, the younger ones, were upstairs. And uh, during the day, we had what is known as the joint sitting of parliament. The two houses of parliament used to meet. Mm. And this was for uh, discussions, lectures, uh, music, etc. And uh, what uh, strike, strikes me very deeply is that uh, I had no idea at all that uh, Comrade Oliver was a mathematician as well as a musician besides being a lawyer and uh, the day before we appeared at the, at the drill hall uh, in, the, in Johannesburg for the formal uh, indictment uh, uh, that evening you know the, the practice was that every evening before we dispersed we used to have uh, to uh, uh, get together and sing songs. Mm -hmm. So for this one, uh, Comrade Tambo was uh, 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 got the what was known as the fourth choir, and he got the basses and the tenors and the altos all together, at least about 25, 30 of them, and among them was also Vuisile Amini, mm -hmm. the late Vuisile Amini. Whose, whose songs have been sung over the years to, and who unfortunately was uh, uh, executed in 1964 mm. on a trumped-up charge. Vuisile Mini was from the Eastern Cape from Port Elizabeth. And um, we, so the discussion was uh, how should we go to the court should we be in our uh, best clothing or, uh, you know, suits and ties? Or should we just go as, as ordinary, you know, uh, you know, ramshackle? Mm -hmm. And the leadership said, no, you are, you are leaders and you must behave as, as leaders and you must go there properly dressed. You, you must respect your, your audience. Mr. Muller. And that evening. Yes, yes go yes, ahead, sir. Go ahead. Uh, 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 that evening, Mr. Tambo had the choir and they, and they decided to sing the Hallelujah Chorus from Handel's Messiah. Mm -hmm. And I must say that it was the most moving uh, rendition of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the of the choir. And uh, the nurses used to come outside the fort because some of them were the wives of some of the accused mm -hmm. and there were a lot of people and, and it rever reverberated and it is one of the most touching moments in my life when, I, when, I, when, when this uh, song was sung.
Mm. Mr. Mola, sir, talk to us, I mean, about the fact that we're celebrating uh, the fact that he was a moral campus and, of course, had great ethics. How important are such uh, centenary celebrations, especially at a time like this in our country, where the country, the nation, is literally divided? Yes, no. Uh, Mr. Tambo was undoubtedly a giant. He was a very humble and a simple man. I mean, he never passed in the glory that he was a lawyer, that he was a BALLB, and that he, uh, and the fact that he was a mathematician and, uh, and a musician as well. But uh, after the, now this, in 1960, after the Sharpeville massacre, the state of emergency was declared and we were all uh, detained at the uh, Pretoria Central Prison. Uh, uh, Mr. Tambo and uh, uh, Uncle J.B. Marx and Moses Kutani and Dr. Dalu, they were asked to leave South Africa and the mission was given to, uh, to Kamei Tambo that he must open up the external missions of the ANC mm -hmm. to publicize the cause of our people. And uh, that is how the, uh, they went into exile and I met him there in in sixty four, uh, uh, no, in sixty three, uh, and in nineteen sixty three. By that time, we had quite a few missions: one in London, in Ghana, uh, in, uh, uh, in Nigeria, and and Dar es Salaam. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could immediately see that, uh, you know, the September was. Uh, a giant of a man, and that uh, he commanded respect. Uh, he, he never used, he never thought of using uh, or, or speaking, uh, you know, looking down upon people. Mm. Now, what I remember very distinctly is that uh, um, I used to edit our weekly news bulletin yeah. known as Spotlight on South Africa. And every now and then I had to get, I, I, I got Kwame Tambo to do the reading articles, the editorials. And uh, after do, doing that, because on Saturday, the publication had to be in the post. Uh, because internationally people were uh, depending on news from South, South Africa. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we used to work till half past one or two in the morning. And from there, go home to the sick bay. And uh, there was a cup of tea or coffee waiting for us with a slice of bread. And you must understand that uh, Kabwe Tambo was also asthmatic. Yeah. But he didn't show it as such. <laughs> and um, uh, we had no complaints. And we used to go to the sick bay. He used to sleep on the floor like all of us. And uh, this showed the dedication, the simplicity of the man that uh, he was the leader of the movement mm. and he didn't want to have anything special as such. Absolutely. Mr. And Muller. Tambo was, was that man. Mm, Mr. Muller, yeah. just before I let you go, what do you think actually sets uh, the likes of your generation and Oliver Tambo apart from, uh, of course, uh, this generation when it comes to how we view ourselves and uh, live in general as society and, and the way that we deal with the current challenges that we're facing in the country? How would OR have, have given advice into uh, m moving the nation forward uh, together? Oh yes, uh, undoubtedly. I mean, he would have given advice because he was the elder statesman, he was the elder leader, together with Uncle Walter Sisulu. Uh, of course, Comrade Badiba was out. And uh, he, I think personally, having known uh, uh, Comrade Oliver for such a long time, he would have been very disappointed at what is happening at the moment in our country. Mm. He, uh, he was a very as I said, very humble man. He was a very honest man. He was a man of integrity. Mm -hmm. And he was respected internationally. He was a very close friend of the late uh, Olive Palmer, who was assassinated. And somebody says that uh, people believe it's South African agents because of his closeness with 
uh, the ANC and particularly uh, the mutual respect that he had, uh, had uh, 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 that he had with uh, Olive Palmer, and uh, uh, I, w I would like just to say one more thing yes, that uh, he was a great speaker. He was a wonderful speaker, and at the United Nations after the Sharpeville massacre, he spoke at the General Assembly and he got a standing ovation. Mm. Now, Kwame Tambo, if he was there, if he was alive, it's a very unfortunate the many, the, the, uh, the, uh, I mean, his death, but uh, he would have been very, very disappointed with how South Africa is, uh, you know, the conditions under which we are at the moment. Mr. Uh, Thank and you. the uh, the internal strife that is taking place within the ANC. All right. And he was taking into account that he was a man that for 30 years, for 30 years, kept the ANC united whilst in exile. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, was, it was one of the most uh, 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 significant uh, contributions that Kwame Tambu could make was to keep the unity of the ANC and bring back that ANC, the, the people that were in exile, and bring them back to South Africa. Mr. Muda, thank you so much for your time, so, sir. What he a would pleasure. have been very disappointed. I have to unfortunately cut you there and let you go. Thank you so much for speaking to us at this time. That is, of course, Mr. Mose Mullah, who was actually with Oliver Tambo during the treason trial. And we've just spoken about the moral campus and ethical values, which re literally resonates with what everybody who came was lucky enough to know. Uh, the late struggle icon uh, came to know him as, of course, that great moral compass. Let's take a quick ad break. And of course, your sports news are up next.